So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So I'm about to start a very large job on this Toyota here. And uh, yeah, it's about a 23 or so hour job. I have to do head gaskets on this thing. And this being a time and chain motor, it's quite involved. Uh, there are a couple of cheats we're gonna do. We're not gonna pull the oil pan. We found a way that there's a, a technique to not have to pull the oil pan. We're also not gonna pull the catalytic converter manifolds off of the, uh, the cylinder heads, provided they're not warped. Um, so the trouble with this truck, uh, I went to a uh, Toyota dealer and they diagnosed it as head gasket between cylinder four and a coolant jacket had failed. Coolant was bypassing the gasket and filling up the cylinder. Uh, the test that the Toyota tech had done was to pressurize the cooling system with a coolant system pressure tester and leave it all night with the tester on it and sure enough cylinder four had a puddle of coolant in the morning um, they quoted the, the Toyota dealership quoted to do a big job do the cylinder head gaskets uh, take the heads off do all that and uh, the customer opted to not pay the extra price of having the dealer do it and brought it to my shop brought it to our shop approved auto to have me do it and uh, yeah, I'm about to start that job, do the time lapse on it, um, and hopefully this thing comes out all right. It drives fine when it's cold, but I uh, yeah, rather it drives fine when it's hot and it cleared that coolant out of the cylinder. But when it starts cold, it sets the check engine lights, missing on number four and all that. So yeah, anyways, why don't you guys take a look at the time lapse and hopefully this thing ends up coming out without a problem. Seems to run fine warm, but not when it's cold.
right guys, I'm about halfway through the job. This is the halfway point. We got it all broken down. Uh, nothing else has to come apart to get uh, this job done, get these head gaskets done. Uh, a lot of you astute viewers are gonna notice that we didn't bother dropping the whole front end of it to take the oil pan down. Uh, some of our service literature tells us a tech tip that it's possible to, to slide that front cover on with the oil pan in place. Uh, the only thing you gotta worry about is right there, that little uh, pick up for the oil pump uh, that right there is the only problem if you slide that o-ring so just gonna take a little care with putting that down so cylinder four was the cylinder that had the leaky problem the coolant getting in and if we look at all these other cylinders sorry about a too much light you'll see an even ring of corrosion or rather not corrosion carbon rather on every piston crown every piston crown has got this carbon all over it. Uh, one thing that coolant will do when it gets into the combustion chamber is we'll clean it. Uh, you can actually run water injection, get carbon off your pistons if you want to. Uh, that's a topic for another video, but we can see on number four, which was the cylinder that was misfiring cold, it's the cylinder that was losing the coolant. It's all nice and clean, no carbon right here. And uh, right there is where the gasket had failed and blew through right there. We'll take a look at the gasket in a second, but for right now, we can see we have truck everywhere. There is a lot of truck, a lot of engine parts. Uh, organization is the key to this kind of job. You gotta make sure everything goes back exactly where it went to, everything, you know, gotta be in time. But yeah, I have truck everywhere. Um, let's take a look at the heads over here. We got one that we just pulled out still over there. Uh, this is the head that we had suspected to be a problem. Uh, we've used the straight edge on it. There's a procedure where you check the straight edge, edge uh, on the sealing surfaces of the cylinder head. And this seems to be it's just the gasket failed. And I guess that's what happens on, on these engines. The head gasket itself goes. We got the gasket right here. We can actually see, where was it? It was right in through here. This is where it would have been clean on that piston crown. This is where the gasket blew through. So yeah, these things check out with the straight edge. We're just going to clean them up a bit and get this thing back together. But uh, I got a long way to go, guys. So I got to stop talking to get to work.
right guys, that took a lot of work. Uh, it pays 23 hours, it took me about all of that, cleaning everything up and uh, having to take some extra time on the rusty exhaust hardware. Um, but yeah, I haven't started it yet, just got it all back together. Um, neat thing with these Toyotas, I did pre-fill the filter. Whenever I break an engine down, I like to pre-lube it. So I, uh, I filled the filter up with oil. Unfortunately, you know, a bunch of it dumps out and you tip it upside down. But I also filled the passages from the, to the oil pump and to the rest of the motor as full as I could with the uh, with our pressurized oil dispenser. There's a little reel up there that dispenses the oil. This takes uh, 5W30. Um, I was able to kind of slightly pre-pressurize it, but another thing I like to do when I do these big jobs is uh, figure out which fuse is the fuel pump. I like to pull the fuel pump fuse and then, uh, and then give it a good, you know, 20 second crank or so just to to pre-lube. Now this is going to do two things. This is going to pre-lube and pre-pressurize the oiling system, but it's also going to be able to hear the engine turning over. And if it doesn't sound right, then I'll know not to try to start it. So this is always my most nervous part of working on a big job like this is turning the key for the first time. I, uh, I don't want to do it, but I think we're fine. Well, I guess that wasn't the fuel pump fuse, huh? <laughs> well, I normally like to crank it a few times, but you know, I guess there might have been a little uh, residual pressure from before I pulled that. Well, it sounded good. I wasn't expecting it to start, but hey, let's uh, try that again. No check engine light, no lights. I don't hear any noises. It's running well. Score guys, score. Another hard job out the door. Another hard job out the door. All right, the proof is in the pudding. Why don't we get this thing off the lift and uh, go out for a road test. Nice. Uh, boy, another job. Well done. So uh, yeah, this took uh, from start to finish. From start to finish, it took uh, two eight-hour days. Plus, I probably started this about 2.30ish on Monday. So give it two and a half hours. So 16 hours minus a half, two half-hour lunches, 15, 16, 17, and then two hours, 19. So I'm about 19 hours. Took about 19 hours labor to do. Uh, between Monday afternoon and today, it's about... Uh, Oh, I'm going to say about 9 o'clock Thursday morning. Uh, yeah, 19 hours to get that whole thing done. And uh, kind of scary how it started right up like that. I, uh, I, I kind of forgot that I had hooked the battery up and then turned the ignition on to clear the codes, which meant it would have pressurized the fuel system. And then I took the key out, took the, you know, took the fuse out to crank it, and it started right up. But uh, luckily, like I explained before, I had pre-filled the pressurized part of the oiling system with the uh, with the shop reel there, the shop hose reel, and that made sure none of the uh, there was no air pocket in the way to, to have to fill up for the for the oil to get and fill the filter. I pre-filled the filter, so you know, good idea to do that on on, on stuff like that when you take a big engine apart, because uh, you know I don't want to spin a bearing down in the crankcase because it went dry and and you know started right up, so. Yeah, it drives great. No check engine light, no missing, no nothing wrong with it. Well, anyways, guys, another job done. It's 9 o'clock Thursday morning. I got about, you know, four or five more cars to fix today. Just because you get one big job done doesn't mean you can go home and celebrate the rest of the week. You know, it is a job after all. It is a job. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Much appreciated. I love all the comments down below. And until next time, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs>